In this video, we are going to see a new feature for Blazor for .NET 6, and that is that now the parameters in page components can receive its value from a query string. Let's see that. When we talk about a page component, we mean a component that is decorated with the page attribute. So what we're saying is that if you have here a parameter and let me create a parameter, let me say public a string title get and set. Now the value of this parameter can come from a query string. Let me first do the following test because I want to teach you something. Let me say here default value semicolon here and let me take this title and let me put it here let me say here title and now let me press ctrl f5 and you are going to see that we will have default value in the survey prompt component and by the way this is a ASP.NET core web assembly application here we have default value and now if i come here and this is what is new if i say here supply parameter from query this means that now the value for this parameter will come from a query string let me say here always rebuild rebuild and apply changes and now we are going to be here and as you can see there is no default value anymore because now blazor is trying to get the value of the title parameter from the query string and since there is not any value it is assigning the default value of a string which is null so now what i can do is to come here and say title equal to hello enter and as you can see here we have hello and also i can put an space like hello how are you enter and as you can see we have hello how are you and so on and not only that I can change the name of this query string that we have here so it doesn't necessarily need to match to the name of this parameter that we have here. For example, I can say my value here and now this will not work. If I save and let me say no because I need to substitute this from here, I will press Ctrl F5 to run my application and you are going to see that now if I write title, hello, this will not work because now this is my value. But if I want to use title here, I can just say here, let me say name. And this is going to be the name of the query string, which is title. And then everything will still work. Now, if I come back here, let me say title, hello. And this still works, which means that I can have a different name for the query string here, which can be different from the name of the parameter here in Blazor. Now, besides that, we can also have a parameter to receive an array. For example, let me say here parameter, and again, let me say supply parameter from query, public a string array names let me say names and get and set and now i can stop saving so much because this runs automatically let me go back here that was a mistake let me come back here let me say div and let me say for each and i will say a string name in names and here i will say let me say first on our list let me cut this from here and put it here and now I want to say here list item name. Now I will be able to send several values to this parameter by repeating the same query string in the URL. Let's see that. Let me save and let me press Ctrl F5 to run our application. Let me close this. And now I can say here, for example, title hello. This is fine. But what I want to test is that I can send several query strings like names equal to Felipe and names equal to Claudia and names equal to Robert. Enter. And as you can see, we have Felipe, Claudia and Robert. And I achieved that by using the same query string several times. So as you can see, it is easy in Blazor 4.6 and onwards 
to have the values of a parameter in a page component coming from a query string. And for that, we can use the new supply parameter from query attribute that we have here.